This is WNEP's Pennsylvania Outdoor Life. Join us for streamside adventures. Days in the field with new and old friends. It's all about making memories and following traditions. And exciting hunting experiences with interesting people. We've captured the beauty and majesty of the great outdoors. And it's all next on Pennsylvania Outdoor Life. Hello everybody and welcome to Pennsylvania Outdoor Life. I'm Don Jacobs in the Pennsylvania Outdoor Life cabin. And what exciting times we have. I know a fall fishing bite is on. People are catching all kinds of fish. But more importantly, yesterday started a week-long muzzleloader season for not only deer, but also bear. And of course, it started the bear archery season. And we've got archery season period in full swing. And next Thursday, the youth hunters and the senior hunters can use their rifles. Really exciting times. Now, yesterday also wrapped up a week-long youth-only pheasant season. We were out last Saturday on a pheasant hunt done by Pheasants Forever, Chapter 803. We were in the Francis Walter Reservoir area, and I'll tell you what, it was an ugly day, but the kids still had fun. You're gonna hear from Corey Weisel. So today is our youth pheasant hunt. We do this every year. Um, we are in Bear Creek Township. State game land is 119. We're gonna let 20 some kids go out and hunt today with dog handlers and guides and then they'll be shown uh, how to clean the birds when they're done with that. So tell me, why do you do this? Um, to get the youth involved and to get you know more kids involved in something that maybe they wouldn't have the opportunity to do. The pheasants are stocked. Is there a certain number per kid? How does that work? Um, roughly, we put out about two birds four ki per kid. So every kid should have a shot at two birds. And that's the limit anyhow, right? That's the limit, so yep. So the weather is still looming. I know I reached out to John Picotti last night. He said, rain or shine. You're going ahead with this rain or shine. It doesn't matter what the weather is. We're going through with it, yeah. Um, we have 20-some kids today. Um, usually we have 40, so it was a little lower than normal. Um, some called off due to weather and other stuff that they had to do. Um, but usually we do have 40. So what about license? Do you need a license in order to do this? They do. Um, 12 to 16-year-olds do need the junior license and the pheasant permit and rain it did. Thank goodness there was a pavilion to get under for the morning assignments. Yeah, we assign them a dog handler and each group will have a certain section of field that they get to hunt. And then their dog handler will give them a safety speech on how to hunt with them. Then they will go out, they will have their hunt, and then when they are done, they can come back and get pictures taken and get to be taught how to clean their birds. Our dog handler for the first hunt is Stephanie Lapour and we're hunting in field number one. I'm basically here by myself, but um, I've been introduced to um, this wonderful uh, organization here, Pheasants Forever, through the NAVDA Hickory Run chapter um, with my dog, Rain. And um, we come here, this is our third year, and we're here to help with, you know, introduce the community youth to this, um, to this area. And you just follow the ribbons? All right, let's go. The bir birds are out there already? All we're right, gonna buddy. Stay, we're going to stay close with the dog, too. So come on up, guy. Uh, you know. Rain, hunt him up, girl. This way. So they said rain or shine. Obviously, it's rain. Stephanie and her dog, Rain, are ready to give these boys an experience. They're out here because they love hunting or they want to experience hunting, rain or shine. Let's see how we make out. Come on, Rain, find a bird, find him. Find him, girl. She's a German short hair, and she's three years old. And, um, you know, fate brought her to me. Uh, you know, she's the best dog in the whole world. Um, we started with the NAVDA Hickory Run chapter. Um, I always wanted a hunting dog. Uh, so I got rain um, and the bond I have with my dog, she's great, like she's my best friend. She'll never leave me. And the love that we have for each other, you really could see it in the field as we work together. I mean, this is a learning experience for myself and um, also for rain. So we're learning together and we're a team. We're always in the woods and, um, you know, and we're really happy to be here to be here with the community youth to introduce them to this, you know, this wonderful experience. 
Yeah. Oh, oh, there it is. There it is. Stay. Stay. Hey, hey. Stay. It's right in there. Stay. Stay. All right. Stay. Good job, good job, guys. Nice shot. Good job. Come on. Dead bird. Dead bird. Dead bird. Nice job, this, buddy. This is the hardest part. Okay. Come on. That was a pretty quick shot, you know. <laughs> a flush and dead. Nice going, bud. Good job. So basically when we go out, she is going to uh, sniff out the birds, right? And then she'll go on to point. Eat, stay, stay, stay. Oh, beautiful, beautiful point, little girl. Stay. And from there, we'll um, either woe her. I know a lot of hunters use woe, but I use stay. Um, she knows that command and uh, better than whoa. And um, then we'll flush the birds and we'll get the kids ready to uh, fire. They'll shoot the bird and then we'll send the dog out. I mean, we're hoping that it ends up like that. Doesn't always, you know, she's still a work in progress, but um, you know, we just enjoy every minute of being out here. Now we gotta look for it. That's sometimes the hardest part of this. Day. Get it, get it going. Go ahead, get it, hit it. No. Okay, dead bird. Oh, good girl, Rain, good girl. Come on. That's awesome, nice shot, buddy. Yeah, yeah nice that's work. awesome. Nice work. I love it, yeah. Awesome, that's so awesome. Good job, guys. Nice shot. Hard to do. Come on, Ray, let's go. So I'm gonna share a little technicality issues with you. We are prepared to go out in the rain with another group of hunters, but guess what? Our camera just shut right down. If you were anywhere near the outdoors last Saturday, you knew just how wet and ugly it was. But guys, I'm glad you, your event went on. I'm glad you had a good time. And I'm, congratulations to those who scored with pheasants. We're gonna take a short break and we'll be right back.